this is Tyler with T-Jack Survival. I have a really quick tip of how to modify some of your larger sheaths so that they don't get chopped off when you put your blades away. So I have been given this Bark River Parang and I'm going to demo it on a video with Blade HQ later on next month where we're going to go out and film with the Boulder Outdoor Survival School. Outstanding blade. I'm very much looking forward to this trip. So watch for that. I'll post videos here as it happens. In the meantime, I want to talk about some modifications I did to this blade. Basically what I've done is when I first got this, I, I, I would open up the sheath and because it's leather and leather just has a tendency to go and then stay where it's been put, um, it wouldn't hold itself open. So a friend of mine went and put the blade in upside down because he wasn't paying attention and cut a little bit into the sheath. Now, in, I, I'm going to stitch that up later, but in order to prevent that from happening again in the future, what I've done is basically I punched two holes right here. I punched two holes right there. And I punched one, two, three, four, five holes on the back. Six holes. Okay? So that this string can start right here. And what this is, is this is a... A, a rubber band that's covered in um, nylon. So the nylon is kind of like um, Chinese finger trap and then the rubber band makes it springy. I got this stuff at the Hobby Lobby. Yes, women's store for men. So anyway, it's basically just stretchy 550 cord or stretchy paracord. Now what I've done is I, I punched a couple holes in the sheath and then threaded it. So basically I start with my knot I go in and out along the back, in and out along the back, in and out the center along the back, in and out along the back, in and out. And that gives me the knot on the back side and all of this rubber bandy stretchy stuff on the back side. Now once you initially put this on, it has kind of a set period and then after it's, it's kind of stretched or worked its way in, then you tighten it up just a little bit more and tie your knots. I just basically tied a couple of square knots, it's really nice and ugly and then burned that on there. But what it gives me is when I'm holding my parang and I just touch it, it opens it up, clears everything free so that when I pull out this incredibly sharp blade, I'm not chopping my sheath to pieces. Anyway, wanted to share that with everybody. I figured that's something valuable that you could use because it's such an easy trick to employ. Um, I'm sure I'm not the first person that's thought of this. I'm sure there's other designs out there, but this is my version of how to do it. So another little additive that I've done is I add a lanyard on the back of this. So if I do drop it, it's not going to fly off and hit me in the leg or whatever. Don't suggest dropping that, dropping the parang, but just in case, it's nice to have it catch itself. Um, a lot of parangs have a really hard angled grip that prevents this. This one doesn't, but it's still smooth and I like the way that it's set up. All that I did is I tied what's called a diamond knot twice and the place that you can go to find this diamond knot is there's an app called Grog Knots. G-R-O-G or G-R-O-G-G, -G, I'm not sure, knots. So just go check out Grog Knots. It's got a bunch of designs on how to tie these knots, little pictures and stuff. Um, very, very much worth the couple bucks you'll spend on getting it. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave your comments, questions, and concerns, and all that type of fun stuff. And as always, thank you for watching TJX Survival.